Hold, Agent. Major Damaris, Ministry of War. Your assistance is required for a mission of utmost importance. What's this got to do with that hut? My associate, Kabura the Hut. His cartel operates the Network Access District, the central hub for the entire galactic holonet. This is a major threat to Imperial security. Breaching the hut's defenses and assuming this level of control should have been impossible. We need you to investigate. Immediately. I'll be glad to find the culprit for you, Major. Your skills make you uniquely suited to deal with this. The main data center is almost impenetrable. A series of well-guarded consoles is spread throughout network access, each with its own time-sensitive code. Get all the codes, then hurry to the data center. Once you reach the data center access terminal with all of the timed codes, we'll contact you with further instructions. Is that clear? Get the codes, blast the consoles, call you when I'm there. Best of luck. Input the codes. Excellent. Kabora. Then this is it. Hurry into the data center, locate the saboteur, and eliminate him. As you wish. Be ready for anything. Dammer us out.
you have arrived. I am Axis, the knowledge seeking. You see, I am completely untouchable. We will now come to an arrangement that benefits us both. What do you have that would be of use to the Empire? I am learning all things, all information, all secrets, all data in the galaxy. I will gladly relay all I learned to your Empire. But I must remain here. That is the arrangement you are going to accept. I survive, and the Empire gains knowledge and advantage. How do I know you're telling the truth? I will uphold the arrangement. It would be irrational for me to do otherwise. You have reached me once, you could do so again. The arrangement depends on secrecy. The Huts will not tolerate my presence here. Therefore, they must believe I have been killed. Large generators power this facility. You will overload all but the backup. The facility will be devastated and I will appear to have been killed. I came to kill you and I never leave a mission half done. Release your illusions. There is no benefit to killing me, and so long as my shields remain, it cannot be done. You will overload all of the primary generators, leaving the backup for me, and in return, I serve your empire. It is simple. The generators are well defended. Tread carefully, and be prepared for the rewards of infinite knowledge.
Jedis should keep the Empire's secrets secure. This is Major Damaros. We registered a large explosion inside the data center. Has the target been eliminated? I did what you wanted. Excellent. We're fortunate you could take part in the mission. Kabura informs me that the Hut's backup systems are rerouting data successfully. The Holonet survives for another day. I must report to the Minister of War. Your assistance in this matter will not be forgotten. Damaros out. Congratulations, Cypher. You've struck the final blow to the Terror Cell. Survivors will be unable to regroup. Ties to the Eagle's network have been severed. There's only one catch. Destroying the network hub sent a ripple through the Holonet. Shadow Town security momentarily failed. I took the opportunity to escape. Escaping was your real goal all along. I knew working with intelligence would expand my options. It wasn't until we met that I formulated a plan. Damn son of a sow. Soon one of your watchers will notice the glitch. You'll be asked to find me. Hunt me. But I don't want you as an enemy. Tell your watcher that I remain imprisoned. Once I'm safe, I'll share my secrets. You'll know everything intelligence keeps from its ciphers. I'm not interested in anything you can offer. You're not thinking clearly. Do you want the details of the eugenics program that bred myself and Watcher 2? The aliases of your friend, Kaleo Janis? You sleazy freak. Think you can play? You are dead. You are so dead. 
It's yours. All the secrets. You only have to help me escape Narshadar. I'll hunt you down, you smug creep. I'm sorry you feel that way. No, I should be going. I have to get to my ship. You have an incoming call from your masters. Goodbye, Cypher. Cypher 9, this is Watcher 2. I'm routing this call through a half dozen city subsystems. We intercepted a set of terrorist transmissions, reporting the destruction of a company called Verve Gen. I've sent agents to scour the company's systems for additional data. It seems the Nasha Darcel has been neutralized. I just destroyed the cell's communications hub. It could have salvageable data. I'll alert the teams. There's also something else. As I was monitoring, I noticed some unusual network activity. It's possible Shadowtown's security was breached. I'm worried about Watcher X. He'd take advantage of a fault like that. I'm going after him now. He called me to gloat. Damn it all. We can't have a rogue watcher loose in the galaxy. Head for the spaceport. I'll try to delay any departures, but be fast. Nar Shaddaa doesn't acknowledge Imperial authority. You're really worried about this, aren't you? Watcher X unnerves me. Do whatever you can. Watcher 2 out. That's the spirit. Let's kill that filth. Meet one, then you can talk. 50 credits says you wind up shoving it into a gutter and laughing. Look around, note your target. Check him for weapons, held, concealed, improvised. Now scan the rest of the area. Does he have allies? Are they hiding? Are you outmatched without realizing? I'm disappointed in you, Cypher. I offered you information that could have given you power over your masters. I knew what I was doing when I took this job. So many operatives say that. I owe you my release, but I have no qualms about us fighting. If you'd like to back out, you may. If I let you go now, the Watchers will know. True. Which will make working with them untenable. I understand. Goodbye, Agent. Now we reach the end. Make it out of this. No one ever does. Yes, that's done. I'd kick around his body, but the bomb in his head might go off. Too bad he decided to play you. If he had dealt straight, bet he could have told his keeper's real name. Keeper's not the only one he could have exposed. A lot of people know my secrets. I get around, but no one knows it all. Cypher 9, this is Watcher 2. Please respond. I need a status update on Watcher X. I'm ready to put out a general alert. The situation is resolved. Watcher X is dead. That's... that's excellent news. Well done. I'll downgrade our security status. Operations will proceed as normal. For the record, Cypher, I don't enjoy violence. But I'm extremely happy that Watcher X is out of commission. Why does he bother you so much? We had nearly the same training, but he was better than me. Smarter. I know what he was capable of. I'll send a crew to collect Watcher X's corpse. His mind and body are Imperial technology.
consider the matter closed. Records of his presence here will be erased, and you're not to speak of this further. I'll debrief you back at the ship. Cipher 9 to Watcher 2, please respond. Contact authorization denied. This is Imperial Automated Defense Corps Unit CR-97. By order of Darth Jared, Lord of the Dark Council, your ship is now in lockdown. Cipher 9. The last time we spoke, I called you to Korriban. Did you misunderstand what a privilege that audience was? If I recall, you tried to have me murdered as some sort of test. Many would beg for the opportunity to serve one of the Dark Council. You've not impressed me, Cypher. You've given me no new information since your mission began, about the murder of Darth Jadis or otherwise. When you receive my orders, you'll do as you're told, or I'll have you flayed alive, along with everyone you know. Understood? My orders come from Keeper, not the Sith. Perhaps I should kill you for your impudence. But you are useful, so... Perhaps I'll kill Keeper. Now, my peers on the Dark Council acknowledge me, but they don't yet respect me, not like they did my father. To secure my position, I must have my father's secrets, the mysteries Darth Jadis never deigned to teach me. I think you're in over your head. How dare you! You're not Sith. You're certainly not my father. I was his only apprentice, but he favored force-blind advisors over his own daughter. Of course, most of his advisors died with him on the Dominator, but not all. Fjord Yanol stayed behind. Fjord Yanol fled to Nar Shaddaa. Do you think Yanol knows something about the terrorists? It's conceivable, I suppose. He might have shared their ideals or conspired with Jadis' rivals. The end result is the same. My sources have found his hideout. You will catch him and bring him to me. Until then, we are finished. You smell burnt flesh? That's my fingers. Gun overheated in the last fight. So, all that one-shot kill stuff you do, where'd you learn it? The Empire puts operatives through extensive weapons training. I bet they do. I learned to shoot with a friend of mine. First year out of rat attack, I was a mess. Me and M. Spichel hooked up on a tramp freighter. She was running too. We stole a holdout blaster and shared it. You said her name was Anne Spichel. Twi'lek name. Think they say it easier. She had gang connections, so one time we were raiding the ship's cargo bay, planning to sell whatever we get. Turns out it was an exchange ship, syndicate stuff. We've just pried open the storage crates when we figure it out. We're dead meat, right? With one holdout blaster, the odds weren't in your favor. Best we can figure. I torch the place while Ampsby grabs a dock worker. Then we sit and wait for the exchange. Enforcers finally show. We blame the dock worker and say we came to stop him. Prove our exchange material. They bought it. Risky. But I guess it paid off. Best kind of risk. Amspichel ended up worse off later, but it was great for me. She was fun. If we ever run into her, we should get together. Time of the century. <laughs> <laughs> 